Hey, what's up? We're Big Time Rush. And we're here with Cambio Connect. Let's get connected. Woo! Hey, everybody. What's going on? I'm Taryn Brooks. And I'm Caduce. Welcome to an ice cold episode of Cambio Connect. Caduce is just a little bit excited because he got to talk with Ice Cube today. NWA Friday. One of my favorite people. <laughs> but before we get to Cube, you guys be sure and check out Cambio Music because we have an exclusive performance with Runner Runner plus even more video diaries from Jasmine B straight from the Justin Bieber tour. Not to mention my interview with 2AM Club, but right about now it is time for the man, the myth, legend, Ice Cube. Just hanging out here with the legend, Ice Cube. How you feeling, man? I'm good, I'm good. Do you feel like a legend? Uh, yeah, sometimes, sometimes I do, sometimes I don't, you know what I mean? You know, whenever I go on shows and get to see fans and stuff like that, yeah, I feel like a legend, you know what I mean? Whenever I'm uh, cleaning up my son's room. <laughs> <laughs> not so legendary. Not, not, not so legendary, you know what I mean? <laughs> well, you got this new album, I Am The West. Uh, it's something I think a lot of your fans will be relieved to know is not sounding like a lot of the hip hop that is on the radio right now. What's so cool about, you know, my career at this point is I'm doing my records independently, you know, for the last three albums. So I don't have that pressure to, come on, give me a radio hit. I'm just like giving you that solid ice cube you always got. And uh, I think people appreciate it. What have been some of your favorite songs and some of your favorite albums along the way? Oh uh, man, you know, uh, songs like It Was A Good Day, Songs like How to Survive in South Central, Straight Outta Compton, you know what I'm saying? So it's been a few, man, it's been a few. Well, I asked the people on Twitter what they wanted to know from you, so uh, a lot of people hit me back and let me know that they're curious about your next movie project. I'm about to do a movie with Woody Harrelson called Rampart. You know, it's a movie about the uh, Rampart division of the LAPD out here. And it, it's a cool movie, you know, drama. A lot of people specifically wanted to see another Friday. Yeah, I want to give them another Friday, you know, I've been, trying to get Chris Tucker to to join us, man. I think, you know, that's what the people want. So I want to get the people what they want. And what's he doing? What's Chris Tucker? I don't know, man. You got to holler at him, right? Yeah, I mean, I've been hollering everybody. Y'all got to holler at him. You know, we need a <laughs> Does petition going. Does he have a Twitter? Going. Can we get we him need up a petition on going. <laughs> <laughs> right on, man. It was good chopping it up with you. You too, man. That was very cool, Caduce. I mean, that was like a big time interview. Funny you use those words because Katie Sanctuary got a chance to hang out with the entire cast of Big Time Rush <laughs> on the set of their show. Let's take a look at that. Hey guys, it's Katie and I'm on the Paramount lot for the Nickelodeon show Big Time Rush and I'm gonna go inside and talk to the guys and find out about their new season. So for anyone who doesn't really know exactly what the show's about, how would you describe it? The show about four best friends who get a chance to go to LA and record demos, and now the second season's coming around and we've done the demos and we did a big concert and now we're back after a tour and we're having here a good time. having a good time. Yeah. I tweeted that I was interviewing you guys and I got like a million questions. Bailey Collins wants to know what you guys like in girls. Whenever we have a new cute guest star, I know all four of us always jokingly like going after her and then I'm always like uh, jokingly getting the girl. Honestly, we all look for a girl who has a great smile, great personality, and who can have a fun time with us, you know? Oh, well, thank you. Yeah. So, what can we expect from this season of the show? Craziness! <laughs> this season, we're, at, we're definitely up in the game. You know, first season was a lot of fun. It was just kind of becoming a band, and now we're officially a band. The first episode, we just got back from touring, so you're gonna see a bunch of shows and a bunch more music. Carlos might get a girlfriend. But he probably won't. <laughs> <laughs> There's gonna be a lot of different uh, love triangles, I think, going on, so that'll be fun to see. That'll be interesting. Mm. I hope you guys enjoyed that interview with uh, my new friends, Big Time Rush. Make sure you watch the show Friday nights at 8.30 on Nickelodeon. And that is our connect for today. Thank you for watching. Be sure and check out tomorrow's episode where we're going to take you guys behind the scenes on rehearsals from Dancing with the Stars. And be sure to comment on this video and all the videos across the site because we want to know what you think. And we actually read your comments. So we please do. chime in. I'm Darren Brooks. And I'm Caduce. And now you're connected.